So there we are, so far so good. We're just gonna do something, although we're gonna re reverse it later, but it's good that we just do it so you'll see uh, what a running Laravel application looks like. So here, we're gonna run something called migrations. Uh, let me explain migrations to you. Uh, Laravel came up with a concept to make sure that if three or four people, or at least more than one person is working on an application, if they change the database, let's say they go to the database and change a field, or a table name there, everybody will get the changes. Remember that when you push to a repository like GitHub, if you and I were working on this same project and I push to GitHub and you push to GitHub too, what we're just pushing is the files, the project files. We're not pushing the database contents. So if there is a change in the database, it's not included in what we're pushing. So it's usually a problem for developers. So it is good that Laravel came up with this idea um, of adding it into Laravel. I'm not saying that they are the first people that added it into their project, but they came up with this idea of having, um, you don't just go to, in Laravel, when you're building Laravel, you don't just go to your database like this and start creating tables. You don't do it, no. You basically create the tables in the file here. In migrations, you just create the tables uh, here. So I'm just gonna show you, this is a user's table. This is the syntax for creating it. You create a user's table. Then create this field look at uh, name email password field you create this and then you basically run a command on your command line once you run that command it will uh, go and it will convert this to sql statements and execute it in your table here uh, in your database so you see the tables so when we push we we'll do git push from our command line uh, this file gets pushed so anybody that is pulling this project also gains access to uh, the rest you understand what i'm saying gains our access to whatever modifications we did in our database. I think that explanation was fairly clear, so let's get in. Now, Laravel um, comes up trying to build any Laravel project you, you download. It comes up with a basic user registration and um, login system, and even forgot password system. It comes up basic, you understand? So that you don't have to start building all those things from scratch. So we're going to exploit that in this uh, application. It will save us time. So to do that, I want to show you that Laravel already has, um, they've already created a migration for the user's table, you understand? And they created for password reset, if you want to reset your password. So having these two things kind of encourages us to um, build apps faster. So now we're in our um, command prompt. We're going to run this migration. So we do php artisan migrate enter so oops there is usually a problem see everybody uh, using mysql will face this error and the error says syntax error asset violation 107 uh, specified key was too long so just copy this error exactly like this copy go to your google and google it then take the first result the very first result on Google. Yep. Not really the first result. So generally, you can just fetch the um, solutions from this, but I already saved my own solution. So um, I bookmarked it because it comes up in every Laravel project that I want to build. I don't know why Laravel wouldn't just fix that once and for all. So this is where I found the solution. Now, if we scroll down, we're going to see that um, we're going to have to do two things. The first one is um, we're going to just copy this. And we go to App Service Provider. So we'll go to our application, go to App, go to Providers. There is the App Service Provider, the very first one. In the boot method, paste. So the default string length is, is string length is 191. And then we're gonna come back and we're going to copy this, use illuminate facades, and paste it at the top here. The same file, and we'll click save. So normally in other versions of Laravel like Laravel 5.5, this should be enough to sort out your problem. But because we're using Laravel 5.6, this may not solve solve our problem. So I've done this, I've saved my file. So I'm going to the command line to try and run the command again. I don't expect it to work again. You see, it's still there because there's something else you have to do in Laravel 5.6. So if you go to Laravel 5.6, 
we'll have to go to config database and change engine null to engine inner db format row whatever so just copy this value dynamic and copy we'll go to config database and look for engine so we'll go to config folder database look for engine i'll control f engine see it's null so we're just gonna put this and paste so what once we've set once we've set this to not null what we're gonna do is to come and up arrow this is the last um command i ran on my command prompt i'll hit enter and try to run it again so this time what do we see try to find again. have an, another error this time uh, we've solved the problem it's not this is not really an error it's basically telling us that um, uh, the last time we ran this command it's created half of the migrations and uh, so it they already exist so let's go and check in our database if we click on uh, voting app again see it has created part of some of the tables so it's telling us that this table already exists look at users already exist so what we have to do is to uh, empty our database one way is to click uh, drop we don't want this drop so that it can create everything afresh again see we'll drop everything so um, look at what it said there users already exist users table already exists so if we click up arrow on my keyboard the up cursor key it shows me the last command I ran then I'm gonna click hit enter you see that this time we're not gonna have any error again see migration table created successfully so it has created migrations for the two tables we have here in our migrations folder so now the migrations have been created we're gonna have to run uh, okay we have we have to stop here and continue in the next video